what's up? So All let right. me see if I could explain a little bit. Maybe I'm a little bit qualified to answer your question. All right. Go Not ahead. just Indian, I would say South Asian or even like the Asian overall is is more focused on the education itself. Like in if you see back home, every family is like, you know they they die to go to school, die to go to university. Like they they study like you know how here people work for twelve hours shift. That's how they study there. Like you know twelve hours straight education. That's how it it happens. It's it's kind of kind of normal there. It, it sounds crazy, but yeah. So bear with me. So w- whatever the family or regardless of their rich or poor or anything, they all wanted to study. They all wanted to get number one in everything, right? So there's the, the generally, even the general population, everybody studies averagely. So in order to come to Canada, if you, if you pass grade 12, which almost everybody does very good in back home, and then they mark, they pass with a higher mark. So when you come to Canada, so it's easy actually to migrate as a student, right? And even for other people who's educated, there's so many educated uh, people in back home. There's all graduates all kinds of graduates are there. So all these education people, Canada wants it. Why Canada wants educated people? Okay, let me explain that. So Canada is a, like a brain drain country. What I mean by that is whoever comes to Canada, either they, they're already educated or they come and here study more and educated, get educated, and then what do they do? They go to US <laughs> because there's lots of money more there. Right? They go to US or I, Europe or wherever, right? So all the top uh, brain people, they go yeah. to U.S., right? So yeah. what happens is Canada is again now a law in the uh, educated uh, group. So the Canada is always keep on immigrating people because we are just, Canada is producing more and more qualified educators to actually supply to U.S. and every other country. Another reason is our slang is a little bit more understandable by the <laughs> native English speakers than Jamaican or African, all the other slangs. I know we have slangs too, but it's, it's a little bit more understandable. The, even though the video that you put I'm replying to is actually hard. I, I bet many people will find it harder to understand what you're trying to say. Even myself, I had to listen multiple times before I could really get it. 